Hello, thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about Grace Dalrymple Elliott, a courtesan and spy. Fact number one, Grace was born in 1754. She was the daughter of Hugh Dalrymple, a Scottish law professor and lawyer. She ended up studying at a French convent and when she returned to Edinburgh in her late teens, she was formally introduced to Scottish society. There, she made quite the impression on several men, including John Elliot, who was 20 years her senior. Now he became quite infatuated with her very quickly, ended up proposing to her super quickly, and they ended up becoming a very important part of fashionable society in Scotland. Fact number two, the difference in age and interest between the couple ended up pulling them apart, and in 1774, Grace ended up falling in love with another man, Lord Valentia, and they started an affair. Now her husband suspected that this was going on, so he had the couple followed, and when he had enough uh, criminal evidence against them, he ended up suing them for criminal conversations, aka adultery. He ended up winning 12,000 pounds in damages, and then divorced Grace. Because of this divorce, Grace's reputation was ruined. She was considered a member of the Demimond, which were a group of women who were, had low uh, social standing and doubtful morality. She ended up having to make her living as a professional mistress and courtesan. Her brother ended up taking her to a French convent where he was trying to get her away from the prying eyes of society. Now this didn't last long and she ended up catching the attention of Lord George Chalmondeley, who ended up taking her to England and became one of her protectors and her lovers for the rest of her life. Fact number three. In England, she quickly re-entered society and began a quiet affair with the Prince of Wales who would later become King George IV. In 1782, Grace ended up having a daughter, Georgina Seymour. Now, the Morning Post ended up saying that it was the prince's and that he had accepted full responsibility for this child. The prince disputed this and Lord Chalmondeley ended up raising this child as his own. By 1786, Grace ended up setting up a permanent residence in Paris. She became one of the recognized mistresses of the Duke of Orleans, who was introduced to her by the Prince of Wales. In exchange for this companionship, she was given a home in the south of Paris. Fact number four. When the French Revolution erupted, Grace was right in the middle of the action, especially because the Duke was one of the leaders of the Jacobins, an anti-royalist group. Now, she still had royal sympathies, so she ended up becoming a smuggler and a spy. She would smuggle letters between the British government and between Paris and the exiled members of French society who are currently living in Belgium. Elliot also risked her life in order to save her friends and aristocrats. In fact, she even carried the Marquis de Champsenet's into her home to hide him when he was being hunted by revolutionaries. In 1793, she was eventually put in prison um, for her royalist sympathies and spent the rest of what is known as the Terror between four different prisons. Fact number five. Though most of her friends were executed, Grace managed to avoid death and was eventually released. Now, after the revolution, uh, there is a lot of rumors about the fact that she ended up having an affair with Napoleon Bonaparte and ended up turning down his marriage proposal. She died a wealthy woman at the age of 69 in 1823, still a resident of France. She lived an incredible life, managing to skirt social shame and revolution in order to not just survive but thrive throughout this incredible time. Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday where we learned all about this incredible woman and how she really put her own stamp on French society during the French Revolution. Mm -hmm.